Hello there and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing The Bad Batch. This is season two, episode nine, titled The Crossing. So now we are halfway through the second season. Uh, I believe there are 16 episodes in total. And, and the, the previous two, which was like a double episode, we really enjoyed both of them getting more into... Well, yeah, the whole clone conspiracy thing. And that was even the title of the first episode. Uh, yeah, great, great, great stuff. Uh, giving us some of the things that we've, we've talked about. Um, dive, diving into everything with the Empire and the clones. And we got to see some characters that we haven't seen in, in a while. and Or at least since the Clone Wars. Um, and, and then in the end... Uh, sort of splitting up the Bad Batch because Echo went with Rex. So so now it is Hunter, Rekka, Tech, and then Omega together, the four of them. We don't know what Crosshair is doing at the moment besides, well, he's still with the Empire, but we've only seen him in one episode for this entire season so far. That That's almost a little bit weird, but I'm sure we're going to see more of him uh, once we get further into the season. Uh, but yeah, I know, so far so good. Uh, now that we're halfway, it's it's enjoyable there are a lot of uh, funny side adventures and then again some more serious episodes where they get to focus on the, the bigger picture i i would say um yeah don't know about you but uh, i i am definitely enjoying it. it it's something we say a lot but you know star wars we are. star wars so so, so star wars so we enjoy yeah. it and, and yeah. <laughs> as you said the last two episodes they were great we got to touch a little bit on 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 the empire and and all the intrigues and so on going on there, and I, mm. I enjoyed that part of it. Also, if I think about it, the one we had with uh, Crosshair was also the empire, and I enjoyed that very much. So maybe I'm slowly sliding to the dark side. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm enjoying this very much, and, and yeah. I think at the end we'll probably see the uh, the bad batch sort of turning more and more towards rebel at least that's what we are uh, expecting that they'll become rebels or at least join up with them at some point or mm. somehow to some yeah. extent i think so and i'm i'm ready for the next one i mean we had a as you said a double dip last time that was great and i want to see where this one goes yeah the crossing or whatever it's called so, yeah 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 exactly um and and speaking of the dark side we got to see Palpatine again in the Senate and, and him just turning the script on on everyone. That was uh, that was great. Um, always nice to see Palpatine, I guess, and, yeah. and to hear uh, Ian McDermott again as Palpatine. Good stuff. Good stuff. It is. But before we jump into the episode, I'm gonna ask you guys to, as per usual, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, like and comment. Also, check out the Patreon page where you can. Uh, watch the full length uncut version, sync it up to your own copy of the episode, watch the whole thing with us. Um, there's a, a bunch of other things over there as well. And all the support is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Also appreciated from me. So please, <laughs> thank you. Let's do this. This is season two, episode nine, The Crossing. Here we go. Hmm. Touch a Western feeling to it. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. Very Western y. Beautiful, though. Yeah. Must be a great job to sit down and design all that. Yeah, just. Planets and stuff, yeah. The animation in general, when yeah. you compare it to the first season of The Clone Wars, they've come a long way, but they're still keeping it in the same art style. It just looks a little bit better now. Yeah, better and better. <laughs> A little bit more detailed. Okay. Where are we going? According to Sid's coordinates, this is the mine she purchased. And we're supposed to do what? Sid purchased a mine? The mineral is highly combustible, like a primed thermal detonator. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I like it. Sounds like a lot of fun. So back to doing missions for Sid. Yeah. Uh oh. The storm's moving away from us. We should be fine. Tech, we'll mine the Ipsium. Rekka, Omega, you're on lookout. We need Rekka to assist with operations inside the mine. 
I was just about to say, you should bring Rekka for the whole mining part. Yeah, on the other hand, you have to handle it delicately. I'm, I don't see him as someone handling anything delicately. True. Oh. Looks like a child. Someone of very small stature. Wait. I am getting a faint reading. There. Ipsium. She's really got them doing weirder and weirder jobs. Yeah. Hi. What's with you? <laughs> I was thinking about Echo. Omega, we require your assistance. On my way. Oh, you need small hands? Yeah. Now what? Drill into the fossilized quartz until you reach the active Ipsium inside. But you must be precise. If the mineral becomes compromised during the retrieval. Chain reaction explosion. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Shit. Very dangerous explosive job. Let's 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 do the child, yeah. Let's yes. go with the child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's get the kid to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Don't drop it now. Yeah. What is this little fella up to? We have what we came for. Let's get back to Old Mantel. Handle it with ease. Yeah. <laughs> Stop throwing that stuff around. <laughs> oh, come on. Of course, something had to... Yeah. Go wrong. During our approach, I scanned a spaceport approximately 40 clicks south of here. Perhaps we can acquire a transport there. You know how long that would take? 40 clicks? Yeah. I don't really see how they just leave the ship with the keys in. I mean, that <laughs> seems like kind of stupid. Yeah. People steal shit and infiltrate and all of that in Star Wars. Yeah. Like, all the time. What's that? Animals? Oh shit! It's a Lion King situation. Yeah. Mufasa, watch out! Kuna <laughs> Matata. Oh, what about the. Shit, Rekka. I would advise not dropping it next time. What are you carrying? Fine. And here's the storm. Yeah. Into the mine. The case. Forget it. Oh no! Come on. Boom. Of course. Of course. It is merely a mode of transportation. The Marauders are home! Yeah. We already lost Echo! We can't lose that too. This squad existed before Echo was a part of it, and it will exist after. What is your issue? A little thing called feelings? Yeah, hey. I, I certainly get it. <laughs> I merely stated the truth. She already knows the truth. That's why she's upset. <laughs> it's not about that. I'm just stating the facts. You can't get mad at me. Says who? <laughs> Alright, but what is she going to find? Another ship or some more Ipsium. Just yeah. a way out. Um, Ipsium? Go! Oh. A lot of Ipsium, of course. Nice. Oh, it'll take days to clear a path at this rate. Well, basically, now they are trapped and rich. Before they were only trapped. <laughs> True. A small amount of Ipsium would be more than enough. Well, we have ah. a small amount, but somebody... They can use it to blow their way out of there. Yeah. She said she wanted to be alone. Look, she's clearly having a hard time adjusting to Echo leaving. Talk to her. Are you sure he's the right one to talk to her? Mm. 
Are you aware that you are surrounded by enough Ipsium that if not handled correctly, could take down this entire cavern? Then you better not distract me. <laughs> this is the last one. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa, wow. He just went right in after her. Yeah, at least he didn't hesitate. Yeah, that's that's good. But where the fuck are they going to end up? Water looks kind of nice and refreshing, at least. What's that glowing? Is that more Let's Ipsium? Ips. Yeah, probably. Underneath, uh, yeah, okay. We took an unforeseen detour, but we are alive. Where are you? That is a good <laughs> question. Stand by. A way out. We found an alternate way out, but you will need to retrieve our gear. So retrieve the gear and then go for Jump a swim. Jump in the water or what? <laughs> yeah, just hope you don't lose it. You gotta be kidding me. Hang tight. We're on our way. Ah, I hate this planet. <laughs> so they're gonna do what? White water rafting with explosives? I don't know. Echo left. Why doesn't that bother you? I am aware that you miss him. But we have to adapt and move on. That Not is what soldiers do. Helping. We are more Soldier than that. We're a family. Yes, of course we are. Then why don't you act like it? <laughs> I may process moments and thoughts differently, but it does not mean that I feel any less than you. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That was most likely not Wrecker's favorite thing to do. See? That wasn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get back or get in the water or just behind that rock. That would do. Nice! The storm is gone. Whoa. Storm is gone, they're out again, and they have more Ipsium. Now all they need is the ship. <laughs> yeah. Where is everyone? It's abandoned. For a while, by the look of it. We came all this way for nothing. I can send out a long-range transmission with that array. To... Who? Yeah. Sid. I'm tied up at the You're moment. not even gonna go pick them up? Figure it out yourselves. Sit, you are the worst employer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> All right. Give me a few days and I'll few see what I can do. We don't days? have to last of you. What do we do now? Spare that. We'll figure it out. <laughs> like we always do. We we'll just have to ration your rations. Oh, and hey, the storm is back. How wonderful. <clears throat> oh, what? wait, what? Oh, I thought, okay. Yeah. I thought we were going to see them, you know, figure something out or get back somehow. Yeah. But, Find but... their ship, something. No, no, that's, that was the, that was the end. Oh, if they're going to get the Marauder back. No. Um, most likely, but it, it is it would be realistic if they don't because, well, someone stole it and they flew away in it and it's a big galaxy, so would make gone. sense if the yeah. ship is gone. Sad if, if that's the case because it's a, it's a very cool ship. But I'm sure they're going to find something else, uh, but they still need to get off the planet. Um, so this almost feels like another two-parter even though... Yeah. It's not, uh, but, I, but I am then expecting for at least the next episode to start with them still being on this planet, or maybe it'll start with them 
haven't got picked up by shit the, or, yeah being picked yeah. up by shit or they've already made their way back and they're just gonna tell us what happened um but overall i actually really enjoyed this episode uh like on on the surface not a lot happened they just went to a planet uh gonna mine some some ipsium went wrong the ship got stolen and then they went into another mine and then they found their way out of that um and now they're stranded um, but it was it was way more about the characters way more about it the was, character yeah. development and and this uh, family unit whole that, discussion that about echo not being there and so yeah. on so yeah yes yes and and i like how they continue to <laughs> actually give more insight into who tech is as a person and how he's different and and like yeah he's he's getting some more spotlight this season I've always found him to be very interesting because he is very like focused on the facts and he's like yeah there's not a lot of feelings involved when no, he he, he's he runs talking. on logic yeah yeah he runs one uh, yeah exactly 100% on logic yeah. but it is it is still there he's just as he's like I might process things differently than others but I I do still feel stuff yeah. um and I I think it could also be a case of of someone like him and i would understand it if if that is the case with both tech and and wrecker and, and hunter like burying some of these feelings deep down because i'm sure on some level they they feel somewhat betrayed at, at least when it comes to crosshair maybe not as much with echo but they still both decided to leave the group and now they are you know less um they are less than, than they yeah. were before and, and yeah. of course you, you take the uh approach of just adapting and overcoming and that mm. sort of goes well with their character so i like the whole development behind the scene where uh where they're kind of being forced to think about it forced yeah. to discussing it because of mm. omega saying well we need to be a family we need to be together and uh, she didn't just see uh, Echo as one going logically to something else or doing something else. It it was losing part of the family. And, and the whole discussion about that was well well put into this light episode of just doing something. Yeah, just Star Wars in general. There, there's a yeah. lot of stuff about family in Star Wars. Yeah. Um, so, so I like them incorporating it here and focusing on it because... The Bad Batch, like they were just like all the other clones, bred to be soldiers. That is all they know. So I, I totally get, you know, the mindset of a soldier there. And even though they're not in a war, they still have that soldier mentality. And, you know, just as you're saying, like adapt and move on. But they're also, as Omega is saying, more than that. They are a family unit and they all... Like they're not just people who came together because they they are actually a family, like related yeah. by blood because they are clones um, and they are different than all the other clones as well. And that's what brought them together is because they are so different. And now they've they've lost two of those members who are also different compared to all the other clones. You lost a couple of oddballs, and now <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, so I I really get it from from both tech's perspective but very much also from omega's perspective and omega wasn't raised to be a soldier though like that that's what makes her different from any other other clones besides the fact that like it's a, she's a she and not yeah yeah a he like <laughs> all the other clones and and she's never known anything other than just staying on camino and and being shoved into the background not really getting to know anyone uh, besides a few Kaminoans and then some of the droids working there. And it wasn't until she met the Bad Batch that she felt like she belonged somewhere and she belongs with them. So when the situation changes and people leave, of course, that's going to do something to her. And she's to, to her, it's child. the only, yeah, to her, it's the only family she knows mm -hmm. that's yeah. the Bad Batch. I'm not sure that she was being treated very family-like on... on Camino. So no. no. So no. So they that's the only family she knows. And then of course if someone leaves that kind of well, don't. I mean Yeah, you're messing with yeah. the, the, the whole family dynamic here. Don't leave. Yeah. 
uh, yeah. and and to her it isn't as much about again the soldier mentality of adapting and moving um, beyond the obstacles and and just surviving it's it's also about again staying together as this family because that that's what yeah. they are to her um so, the, so last I time like she lost echo and this time she lost her home so yeah so yeah yeah but that, yeah, what's yeah. going yeah what's going away next time i mean <laughs> yeah you, you said it like you, that's that's the big like yeah it is just a ship and it is just a mode of transportation you can always get a new one but it's it's also their home like if i lost the home that i'm living in right now sure i would find something else to live in but it would give suck. It, this is my yeah, home. Yeah, well, <laughs> give it more another five, six, seven years and, and try to move with your kid. Then you'll see. Well, yeah, I, I even <laughs> remember um, like when we bought the house that we're living in now, uh, we talked to, to the people that we bought it from because they, uh, they, they have four kids um, yeah. who are, you know, they're, they're all grown up and they all moved out. But the young, I think it was the youngest of, of their daughters. She was not happy about them selling this place because she grew up here. This is yeah. this is her home with a capital H. Like this is yeah. this is it. Um, so so I totally get that. And as as you're saying, yeah, if we have to move from here in in X amount of years, that is going to feel weird. And someone's not gonna like it. Someone's not gonna like it. Yeah. Um, Anton is probably not going to like that. <laughs> no, not at all, because he's going to grow up here. This is this is all he knows. And so, again, like I just I like that getting into this, and we're just getting to know more about the characters and and seeing this family dynamic more. And it makes us because in in the long run, it just makes you feel more for the characters when you have episodes like this that again might not seem so important right away and on the surface, but when something happens later down the road we will look back at episodes like this and they will mean more to us or they will have at least build a foundation yeah. for us to care more about the characters um because yeah, I, 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 I don't know where like how this is going to end for the bad batch uh, and i'm kind no, of afraid me, like, me neither I, I like these small episodes they're, they're not mm -hmm. heavy in any way but that, as you say there's a whole lot of stuff that's going on there that I just put in the back of my mind. And then later on, I sort of have a relationship with the the Bad Batch and know them a little more. So when something mm. bad happens, it, the effect is 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 greater. So it, yeah. this is fine. I mean, mm. I still think the last two episodes uh, before this one, they were a little bit deeper with the, with the, uh, the Empire and the whole Palpatine showing up and being mm. a smart bad guy and, and so on. I like <laughs> yeah. that part too. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is fine. This was a yeah. nice episode, to sort of gobble up. Yeah, it's it's more with the previous two. It's more big picture stuff, where this is yeah. more small picture. But yeah. this, it, like the episodes it like up. these, yeah, it's gonna add up so that when we get to some of the big picture stuff again, it's going to mean even more to us because we have this in in the back of our minds. Yeah. So yeah. Then again, it's Star Wars, and as we said so many times, I I really enjoy Star Wars. I enjoy that we have the Star Wars stuff talking with each other about it, both on and off screen. So, yeah, it's it's always great to dive back into a galaxy far, far away, and with and you also guys as this well. One, yeah. there. Mm. This one started off as a real western with the western sound and and the mountains and so on, mm. and that was yeah. That, that is also part of Star Wars, that whole Western feel look to it every now and then. And it's it's only sometimes candy. it's more obvious, other times it's well, it's just there. Yeah. So yeah. It's it's part of the, the, the it's identity. A smile to my or, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Star Wars. And yeah, it, it yeah. really does. It really does. Um I guess I should also say, yeah, just to those of you who are still watching and have watched through the, the entire discussion here. Um you probably have noticed that these episodes are usually not coming out on Wednesdays, but they're coming out on Thursday, Thursdays, and and that is that is how we're gonna do it moving forward. Because in a couple of weeks, the Mandalorian is back. Speaking of like Western fields and all, um, the Mandalorian is back, um, and Kat and I were gonna be watching that 
on Wednesdays, or at least that's what we're going to be aiming for. And then Major Dad and I, we will catch up on the Bad Batch as, as soon as we can, either Thursday or maybe even Friday. But we will we will still watch. We're still going to. We're still going to do this because we enjoy it. So we will so soldier on and watch them all. Yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Is there anything else you want to you wanna add to this one before we wrap it up? For those of you who made it all the way to this place in the video, thank you so much for the comments. And please like and subscribe and go to Patreon and support my son. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. And may the force be with you. Always. Always.